What is up guys welcome again to the financial journey with coffee channel in today's video I'm gonna tell you about whether you should buy top glove stocks Well, this video is a little bit unconventional from all the videos that I've been doing and I'm trying something new So if you do like my analysis like it subscribe my channel and share it with all your friends but let's go a review on the coronavirus cases in malaysia if you just look at this chart guys let me just zoom in and let's look at this chart right look at how much we've gotten back in march when we only had about 200 300 to about 100 and we were already on a really tight lockdown right and and we got really really good and, and a lot of countries were praising us and saying that how good we were and now look at the recent trend ever since October and just a few days ago, right? Just a day ago, we hit a record high of 2,188 cases. And guess what? You know, majority or more than 50% of the cases comes from workers in the top glove factory. And so you ask yourself, what's going on right there, right? Well, I don't know a full analysis of what happened. All I can say is there must be a reason why all of them, or so many of them have gone. And just look at the news these few days, right? Top Glove is biggest contributor of cases in a single day, say Ismail Sabri, right? That was yesterday. Look at your stocks, Top Glove down, but selling eases after company says 3% of revenue to be impacted by manufacturing stoppage. And then if you look again, Look at this, CEO came out and basically wanted to reassure their shareholders that, hey, we're going to give you more than 6% of dividend in FY 2021. And then when you look further and you research more about Top Glove, right? It says uh, 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 right here, today's things, right? By Malaysia Mail. Top Glove says, puzzled by HR minister calling its staff dumb deplorable. So let's just, let's just look at, at, at what, top glove is actually up to you look at this back in september cnn produced an article the world's top supplier of, of disposable glove are thriving because of the pandemic but your workers aren't and then cna same thing again right malaysia compensates the workers so let's just take a look at what had happened this is a video i found on bbc let's look at the condition guys i was shocked first of all i would like to point out that despite top glove having so much cash right and getting so much in return until today until today guys this is the year 2020 look at how the your workers stuff um glove into the glove box that's one pound eight pence an hour they're contracted to work six shifts guys did you see that let me just let me just rewind this again. look at it look at that they're contracted to work six shifts a week and rack the worker literally guys literally took his hand and take it and stuff it into a box being the world's biggest manufacturer you would think that some sort of automation would happen but this is not the case for top glove you gotta ask them why is it because labor is cheap they are exploiting the workers maybe right who knows i i'm not making any allegations i'm just saying what what could be the reason that they're not using automation so that's part of the reason why inefficiency is so high also in our country, right? Because labor is so cheap. People go around and, and, and just hiring cheap labor and not improving their efficiency. Look at this part of the clip, guys. And over fist, 74 billion a year. Same thing again, guys, right? Put it in context. Look at how much. Oh, look at what they do, right? Look at how this is another condition, right? Top Glove's migrant workers often live for years on end in squalid company hostels, wedged in cheek by jowl in COVID-friendly clusters. With no proper kitchen facilities in dorms, workers cook on naked flames and claim that in some hostels there are no fire escapes. Ten pounds a month, almost just top labour rights officials. Beds are very close, clothes are hanging everywhere because they are not provided with the proper facilities. Uh, it's very crowded and yes i mean it's very sickening to see this video if you ask me southern thailand here no social distancing as workers clock in for their shift at a malaysian factory 
During the lockdown, top glove workers have been crammed onto company buses plying the routes between factories and hostels. Okay, guys, that's all I will share with you guys and my research so far with Top Glove. And you can see here, Top Glove shares buy back tops 1 billion, but it loses or lost about 12 billion market share, right? Ever since uh, uh, the COVID 19 cases had spiked and their factories were closed, were forced to close down in uh, their country. So, what is my analysis, right, guys? When I look at the Top Glove stocks, right, since it peaked yeah, about October, right? And since October, it basically went down for almost about 30% to the 25th of November. And when you look at uh, other, other other stocks in Malaysia, right, glove stocks, I mean, we know that basically day two didn't do very well, right, 24%, 25%. And then when you look at Supermax, right, which is another top glove, uh, which is another glove company, also about 25%. So this... It's partly due to the uh, vaccine news being introduced, right? Saying that um, people have found the vaccine and the vaccine seems to be working. But let's just look at the brief analysis of Top Glove. Top Glove has now a PE, which is a price to earning ratio of 30. Now, for those of you who don't know what PE is, it's basically the price of the stocks over the earnings of that company for that current fiscal year, right? So meaning, just to put it simply, if you see a high P.E. ratio, meaning that you're paying a higher premium for the stock, right? And then if you're seeing a low P.E. ratio, meaning you're paying a good price or a low premium, there is not much premium for that stock. So uh, Top Glove has a 30 P.E. ratio, which is not outrageous for, for, for a company like this, but... I mean, a tech company like Microsoft and so on is pretty pretty much around that, that ballpark, but they're technology stocks. And if you look at Harta Lega, Harta Lega is about 48, 29, not too bad, right? And when you look at Supermax, this is Supermax, guys, right? Supermax is the best, right? Basically 16, so much lower. And you got to ask why too, right? Is it because they don't have much expansion going on and so on? But guys... This video is just to share light with you on I've been considering and thinking, hmm, maybe I should dabble a little bit in um, local glo glove stocks, right? But I don't know about you, but um, investing has something uh, uh, to do with me, t with um, the morals, right? With a, 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 a moral compass. I don't usually invest in companies that I don't believe in. And when I say I don't believe in, it's not only about purely numbers, but just the uh, condition that they treat their workers, ethical, uh, uh, being uh, doing things in the right manner. And so far, uh, I'm not alleging anything, but so far, based on all this news that I've seen, right, um, it, it doesn't seem like a good, good news, guys. And when a company is um, basically allegedly treating their workers this poorly, over the long run, guys, things will never work out well. I don't think so, right? Just look at the video that I showed, right? Where the migrant workers, they're, they're literally stuffing glove into a box manually. Now, for those of you who are in the manufacturing sector, you know that for such a... 25 pounds a month. That's no, that one for pound top eight company, pence. This kind of things that happen, it's almost unseen and unheard of. But yet, top glove, the best top... Uh, Love company in Malaysia are doing this exact thing. So, uh, just a little brief analysis. I will not be purchasing top gloves. I might be looking into Supermax to see why the PE ratio is so low. Uh, maybe if I'm convinced, looking at their cash balances and the adapt to cash ratio, uh, and just looking at their future earning forecast, I might uh, dive myself deep in. But before that, I gotta create a stock brokerage account. So any of you who has any recommendation on what CDS account to uh, to sign up with, do let me know. I'm currently considering Hong Leong and also Rakuten, um, but just trying to figure out what the differences are. So that's all for my analysis today. Uh, stay safe, guys, and catch you in my next video. Bye.